today we're going to create this liquid motion graphic effect in Adobe After Effect. If you're new here make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Let's get started. Alright, make a new composition. Make it as 1920, 1080 composition. Use frame rate as 30, duration 8 seconds, now click OK. Right click on here. Go to new, create a new solid background, I'm going to use this darker blue color for background. Now right click again, new, create a shape layer. Now create a rectangle size of the composition. Let's use white color for this shape layer. Select this shape layer, hit P on your keyboard for position. Drag this Y value to out of the composition like this. Left click on this toggle key to make a keyframe. Move this time indicator like past a second or so. Change this Y value like near upper side of composition like this. Select both keyframes, right click on one, select keyframe assistant, make keyframe as easy as keyframes. Shortcut is F9 key on your keyboard. Now move the time indicator past 2 seconds and 20 frames. Drag down the Y value of this shape layer all the way to the bottom. Now we have this animation on our composition. Ok, let's add some effects to our animation. Select this shape layer, go to effects, go to distort, add turbulent displace effect to this shape. Now you can see there is a wave effect in the edge of our shape. Now change the amount value of the effect, like 140 is good enough. Now click on this bar and change it to twist. You can see now there is an extra wavy shape on our layer. Then hold alt key, and click on this evolution toggle, now type time asterisk 200, then hit enter on your keyboard. This adds an extra animation to your composition. Now you have this animation. Now select our shape layer, go to edit and duplicate that layer. Offset that layer in time a little. Change the fill color of that shape layer, so we can separate the layers. I'm going to use this light blue color to this path. Let's play again our animation one more time. That's look really good. Right click on this path, go to new, and create a text layer. Type in whatever you like. Now go to align panel, and move this to the center by using horizontal and vertical align keys. Now move the time indicator past one second like this, and offset the time frame. Now create a new shape layer. Draw a rectangle size of the text, change the color so we can see what's going on. Now select that layer, hit P on your keyboard for position, move the time indicator on 2 seconds, and make a keyframe for position by clicking on this stopwatch. Now move the time indicator all the way to the end of the background animation, and make a keyframe like this. Rectangle should be on the text. Now select both keyframes, make them easy ease keyframes. Now go to this background shape layer, Copy the turbulent displace effect and paste on our new shape layer. Now this is our effect.
select the text and the new shape layer. Move both layers down. Now this text is below our wavy background. Now select the text, go to layer, click on pre-compose. Then this window will appear. Let's name this motion text. Hit OK on this. Now click on this toggle if track mat is not showing on your window. Change the track mat to alpha mat. Now you can see our text is animated. Select the text layer. Go to effect, generate, now click on fill. Now you can change the color of our text effect. I'm going to add this yellow light color to this one. Now select that text and shape layers, go to edit, duplicate. Now change the color and offset in time a little. Duplicate again and do the same process. Now you can see we're almost done creating this animation. Select this white shape layer, expand it, contents, rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, now add a keyframe for size. Now move to the end of the animation, uncheck this chain, expand height until the full text is white. Select both keyframes, make them easy ease keyframes. Now this is our final animation. If you guys enjoyed the video, like the video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next tutorial.